The new Beckett air damper actuator eliminates all linkage on two-stage commercial burners. It can be installed quickly and easily. There are no tricky operations required to get excellent combustion and smooth transfer between low and high fire. No special tools are required. Adjustments can be made with the included wrench and a small screwdriver. Adjustment instructions are printed on the cover. It's easy to set up low and high fire. An illuminated switch indicates high fire position. The Beckett air damper actuator is electronically operated and provides a cleaner look to the burner. Outstanding performance and reliability have been proven in the Beckett Halt Highly Accelerated Life Testing Laboratory. This training module provides detailed instructions on adjusting the Beckett air damper actuator. Adjustments to the Beckett damper actuator are made by removing the cover and changing the cam switch settings. When the cover is removed, you must be careful not to damage internal components such as the printed circuit board that will be vulnerable without the cover. With the cover removed, you have access to the individual cams making up the cam stack, the disengaging pin, and the adjustment wrench. The cam stack consists of a red high fire cam and scale, a blue low fire cam and scale, and an orange transition cam that uses the same scale as the blue cam. The cam stack also has a position indicator, a slot in the white ring behind the red cam, that indicates the opening position of the damper in degrees on the scale printed on the gray body of the actuator. The cam stack can be disengaged from the actuator motor by pressing in on the white disengaging pin. When the cam stack is disengaged, the cam and damper can be rotated through their travel by hand. Re-engaging the disengaging pin locks the cam and damper to the motor. When the burner is powered, the motor will automatically return the damper to the low fire position as long as you've left the damper in a position above the low fire set point. If the damper was left in a position below the low fire set point, it will not drive when power is restored to the burner. If the burner is powered while the disengaging pin is in the disengaged position and the damper position is not such that the cam switches are closed, the actuator motor will run continuously. This will not cause harm to the actuator motor. However, operation of the burner with the damper disengaged is discouraged due to the potential for operating the burner with an excessively rich or excessively lean flame. The high fire position of the damper is set by inserting the wrench into the teeth of the red cam and moving it so that its indicator points to the degree setting on the white scale that you want for the high fire air setting. When you adjust the cam position, you'll feel and hear a click for each one degree of movement. For a high fire damper position of 95 degrees, move the pointer of the red cam five clicks past the 90 degree line on the white scale. Previously, Beckett's air adjustment scale was calibrated in increments equal to 10 degrees. An old air setting specification of 9.5 is equal to 95 degrees on the damper position scale of this new damper actuator. If air adjustments are made with the burner running, it may be necessary to cycle the burner's firing rate to achieve the desired setting. Reducing the travel range of the cam stack will not cause the motor to drive to the new setting. For example, if you move the high fire setting from 95 degrees to 90 degrees, the motor will remain at the 95 degrees setting until the burner has cycled to a position below 90 degrees. Likewise, a low fire setting change from 30 degrees to 35 degrees leaves the motor at 30 degrees until the burner has cycled to a position above 35 degrees. The blue cam sets the low fire position of the damper in just the same way as the red cam sets its high fire position. The orange cam sets the transition point between low and high fire, where the fuel valve changes over from low to high. It should be set halfway between the settings of the red cam and the blue cam. Set it by turning the adjusting screw as shown. You may need to disengage the cam stack and rotate the damper to a position where you have good access to the screw in order to make this adjustment. We recommend that you do not disengage the motor from the damper shaft with the burner running. After you complete your adjustments, make certain the disengaging pin has been re-engaged with the damper position set between the high fire and low fire limits. Replace the actuator cover, making sure it is correctly seated, and test the burner for proper firing at low fire, high fire, and in transition between low and high. A retrofit kit to add the new actuator to burners already in service is not presently available. 
If further assistance is needed, please contact our technical service department at 1-800-645-2876 or email us at techservice at beckettcorp.com.